Good morning, my sweet, sweet besties. It's 6.30. We're currently in my bathroom, obviously. Getting ready for the day. I need some coffee. I need to be energized. We have to go through everything that I'm trying to project pan for the next year, if that makes sense. We'll get into it in a second. Let's get coffee and then we will go over everything. <laughs> trash talking to do. I'm going to speed review all of my empties. These are things that I've used up over the past couple months. I haven't saved all my empties. You guys know I sometimes go through phases where I'm like, yeah, people love to see empties videos. And then I'm like, nobody cares. <laughs> but right now I'm in a people care sort of mood. So here are all my empties. JVN on damage shampoo. I would buy it again. It's really nice, but I have others that I'm using up. The Naturium Body Wash for Sensitive Skin. Amazing, great price point. I'm using my Necessaire one because I kind of like the packaging more, but if you're trying to save a buck, buy this one. It's amazing. Type A deodorant in the Darling Vanilla Almond Milk scent. It is discontinued, I think. I can't find it anywhere. I'm absolutely in love with this, but I can't find it, so I'm sad. Bioderma, I have so many of these empties all in different sizes. Love this makeup remover. You need to try it. Make sure you do or else. It's really good though. It removes your makeup. It's great for sensitive skin. I use it before I wash my face. The Skin Fix Hand Repair Cream. This is amazing if you have eczema on your hands or you just want to nourish your hands. Amazing. Continually repurchase. Get it. This freaking little sample comes out to $89. It's like $450 for the huge thing. I didn't actually buy this. It came with something. I don't care about it. Don't buy it. Burt's Bees Calming Masks. I like it, it's okay, it's super affordable, it's only $2.99. If you're trying to do masks with all your girlfriends, do this because it is hydrating, but I would say get a more targeted one if you're gonna use it like on a weekly basis. The Ren Youth Vitality Day Cream, I think it's okay. I have other moisturizers I like more. Don't worry about it. First makeup product, it's the Illamasqua Hydra Setting Spray. I really liked it. It was super hydrating. I would get it again if I didn't have so many setting sprays that I'm trying to use up. So get it if you see it, it's really nice. But use your stuff up first. The Osea Sea Minerals Mist. This was so nice. I loved it so much. It was green though, and I don't really like green. And they have a pink one that I want to try, but again, I have so many face mists. I will buy the pink one when I finish some other ones up. Probably shouldn't have thrown that, that was glass. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Shampoo. I have so many of this exact tube that I'm trying to use up. I have bad memories tied with this fragrance. So I'm trying to use them up and get them out of my collection, but there's nothing wrong with it. If you need a shampoo, try it out. Shawnee Darden Cleansing Serum. This is really nice. I love her packaging. Her products are great. If you like cleansing bonds, but you hate how thick they are and waxy, this is a really good one. It's more of like a gel, like, makeup remover that you would use for like double cleansing. You would need to cleanse your skin after I think unless you have super sensitive dry skin then just use this on its own. But that's my review. Olplex number four shampoo. This is the travel size. I absolutely love Olplex. You guys know this. I think they're really good. This one's icky so I'm not going to throw it. I love the travel size version because I know exactly what to expect from the shampoo so when I'm traveling I don't have any surprises. I have tried surprise shampoos before and it made my hair terrible on vacation. The Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics. I highly suggest this for a daytime hyaluronic acid. They're amazing. I've gone through multiple. I have another one that I'm almost finishing now. Absolutely amazing. Get it. So affordable. I think I just said all of that two times in a row. Skin Fix Nutrient Water Tonic. I'm not going to talk about it because it's discontinued, but it was good. LMS Pro Collagen Cleanser. I really like this. I thought it was really good. I probably wouldn't buy it because I have cheaper ones that I enjoy. I noticed that anything with marine in it, like a clean brand that has marine properties in it, really does well for my skin. So take that for what you will. The Foot Rescue Manuka Honey Cream. All done. I didn't like the smell and I didn't think it really did much. So ignore that. The Biosance Magnesium Deodorant is discontinued so I'm not even going to talk about it. And also I don't remember anything about this and I don't remember that I used it up. <laughs> the Indie Lee CoQ10 Toner. This is absolutely amazing. I just think the packaging is kind of ugly. So I'm not going to buy it again. But if I have access to like get a sample of this, I will 100% get the sample because I love how this feels. I'm just a sucker for packaging. You guys know that. I mean it need the product needs to work but I also need good packaging. Amika of the Cure Hair Treatment. I have more of these to try. I don't know if this mask was like amazing. I need to try it more so I don't have anything to say about that. The BioEffect EGF Serum. This is like one of the most expensive things I use on my face and continue to buy. I wish there was something that I could replace this with for a nighttime serum but it's amazing. Go buy it. Buy it. It's so so good. I should probably tell you what it's for. It's for like resurfacing the skin without feeling like an exfoliator at all and it hydrates. It's so nice. I have the Ren Revitalizing Night Cream. The one I talked to you about before was the day cream. This like didn't interact well with my other skincare so I'm glad Glad it's all gone so maybe don't try that blossom hand cream i got this in one of like those boxes from 
some brand, I don't remember, maybe look fantastic. It was a really good hand cream. I'm not gonna go out and buy it because I love my Caudalie one, but it was really good. Last makeup product. I love ending on a makeup product note. This is the Merit Beauty Mascara. It didn't work for me because I didn't realize it was a tubing mascara. Didn't love how it made my lashes look. Didn't do much for me, which sucks because I love Merit. Bye bye I just had to mention the total of my empties, like the current market price. Now granted, I probably didn't pay market price for all of these, some I got on sale, some were samples, you know the drill. But like just off their value alone, which we know isn't true value, but put that aside. I used up $656.69 worth of product. Insane, for only 27 things. What really elevated it was that serum that was like super tiny and it said it was worth $89. I don't think so, but still, over $600 of product I used up. Which that leads me to the final segment of this video. I realized I have so, so many products and I tend to buy a lot, I review a lot, I try a lot of things, but I don't want anything to go to waste. I try to donate when I can, make sure my friends and family get the most use out of my products if I'm not going to, and just use up my own products in general. So I did a huge declutter, which I didn't film, but I probably should have. I got rid of stuff that my sister would enjoy, that my mom would enjoy, that Nick would even enjoy. And I have the final curated collection. From here on out to the end of the year, I'm doing my own project pan, low buy, whatever you want to call it. So I have two sets of goals. I have goals for makeup, and then I have goals for skincare, body care, hair care. My goals for makeup are that if I want to bring a new product into my collection, two have to leave. I either have to declutter it or use it up or it expires. So if I'm going to bring anything in during this low buy, things have to be going out. And preferably I would be using up the things. I'm not trying to declutter things just so I can buy more. I really want to get good use out of the stuff that I do own. My next goal is that I want to hit pan on one item in my collection. I don't care what it is. I just want one pan in my collection because my collection has changed so much the past few years and I've just did a lot of purchasing and then decluttering and purchasing decluttering. I don't really have pan in anything. And I'm like, that is ridiculous. I really need to focus on one thing. I mean, I can use all my makeup, but I just need one pan. I have Another goal and that is I want to finish one product whatever makeup category that it is other than mascara because mascaras don't count I use those up quickly as it is but I want to use up one thing completely whether it's a lipstick a lip gloss an eyeshadow a blush it doesn't matter the category other than mascara so those are my three goals for the rest of the year for makeup and now we're gonna jump into all the other categories which are combined into one large category so here are my goals for skincare body care and hair care and again in order to bring something new into my collection two things need to leave preferably again by me using up a product but if something just so happens to be expired that can count as like decluttering or an actual declutter giving something away that also counts but as always i will emphasize that i want to use my stuff up myself for this category i want to finish 10 products by the end of the year now this is completely doable because i have so many products from all three categories that are almost done they just have like that much left in them I tend to like use something for a long time get bored of it go to the next thing so I just have an endless amount of like barely used half used almost used <laughs> products that I just need to like hone in on and get them out of my collection so nothing gets expired and my final goal for this category is to make sure that I'm using things that are going to expire this year I made a whole list a whole makeup inventory of everything that I own. I have 81 products in the skincare category that I need to use up. I did a whole template on Notion. If you don't know what Notion is, I'm gonna have to just link it down below so you can see it's not like an affiliate, it's not anything that I make money off of. I just don't know how to describe it. I'm using it as a way to keep track of my life, but I know businesses can use it and teams can use it to keep track of stuff together, but I'm just using it personally to keep track of different areas of my life all in one place on my computer. And I use it separately than my planner, but I do a lot of planning on here. <laughs> it's complicated. Anyway, you're gonna see, I made a huge list of every product I have when it expires so I know which things I need to use up first. If I've already tried it, I've rated it on a scale of one to five stars or haven't tested it yet so it doesn't get any stars. So I have this whole spreadsheet right here in front of me and that is for skincare. For body care, I have a total of 51 products I'm trying to use up and included in this category is skincare that I use as body care. Cause sometimes if I don't like a moisturizer but it's like a good moisturizer just not on my face, 
I'll use it on my body because it's like the same thing, right? So all of that stuff is in my body care inventory. I'm also taking the sum, the market value sum of all <laughs> of my products. And again, I cannot emphasize enough, I did not pay this market value. Something might have been sent in PR or I might have gotten it on sale, buy one, get one free, a crazy sale or samples. Like there's so many things making this value not a true value. So don't think I spent all this money that I didn't. And the last category is my hair care inventory. I have 70 two things in this category which is absolutely insane a lot of them are minis honestly i need to just pull them out of my collection get through it so i hope you guys will go on this journey with me it's going to be super low buy like i said i'm only going to buy something if things exit my collection and instead of repurchasing something right away that i love i'm going to try to use other things in my collection that are similar to either use it up or decide that i don't like it at all and clutter it so i'm just using up all of these things i think this is great to do especially going into the holidays and because i have some medical stuff going on I need to be as careful as I can with money. So if you notice, I'm doing a lot of bulk shopping. So I end up saving money in the long run, not buying as much. My fashion hauls have definitely gone down drastically. In fact, I don't even know when I've done the last one on my channel. I do have a fashion haul for you, but it's a very curated collection. I've been taking so much time picking out these pieces. They're for fall. So that's why I was kind of waiting to show them. But yes, I also wanted to mention, this is my second to last video featuring summer content. I guess this really isn't a summer video, but I feel super summery. And then I have have an end of summer vlog coming up next week so be on the lookout for that i hope you guys join me on this new journey of not spending all of our money and just so you know i wasn't spending all my money before on this like i wasn't spending money i didn't have don't get any bad habits <laughs> not worth it thank you all so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you i love you i'll see you next time bye